Hey guys, this is Dr. Israb with Integrative Kidney Solutions and today we're going to be talking about arsenic and kidney health. We wrote a blog about this, um, so if you're interested in uh, learning details about uh, the subject, please read the blog. We're going to leave a link for the blog in our uh, description below. So make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel and like this video. In this video, we're going to be trying to make sure that we keep things simple. So arsenic has been linked to many health issues and the most important things that uh, can be associated with arsenic is risk of cancer and also kidney disease. Uh, we learned that in uh, the whole world, most likely source of arsenic is actually the soil and uh, the water that we drink. So drinking water is the major source of exposure to arsenic worldwide. And uh, sometimes if you, even if you're drinking uh, filtered water, uh, if uh, the food or the crops that you're eating uh, are actually uh, irrigated by uh, uh, a water that is contaminated or grown in a soil that is um, uh, laden with uh, arsenic, you are likely to be getting exposure to arsenic by the crops you're eating. So you make sure that you uh, select organic crops uh, most of the time, and especially if you're, uh, we're talking about rice and tea, those are the most heavily uh, associated with arsenic, um, and you wanna make sure that these are uh, screened for uh, arsenic exposure. So what happened to arsenic after we um, get exposed to it? Our body tried to detoxify it, and the process for detoxification of arsenic is called methylation. And this process um, involved neutralizing and eliminating arsenic uh, from our uh, system. And glutathione, our master detoxifier, is actually crucial for this process. Uh, after um, arsenic is uh, compounded with uh, glutathione, it actually gets uh, 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 externalized from the cells and then it goes to be excreted. And the kidneys are the major site of elimination of arsenic. And uh, during that process, uh, arsenic can end up accumulating in the kidney cells. Uh, there are a lot of transporters that are uh, associated with uh, moving arsenic from uh, and, uh, in and out of the kidney cells, and you can read about those in the blog. But it's important to know that many nutrients can uh, affect how we get uh, to eliminate and to detoxify our body from uh, arsenic. So selenium, for example, plays an important role uh, as well as zinc and many antioxidants play an important role in eliminating uh, arsenic from our body. And uh, water, actually drinking a lot of water, make sure it's filtered water, uh, that uh, has been associated with decreasing the kidney cells exposure to arsenic. So what happened after we get exposed to arsenic, uh, our kidneys can be exposed to it in uh, two ways. One is you can have an acute kidney injury uh, from acute exposure to arsenic and this can lead to inflammation in the tubules of the kidneys. We talked about these in uh, our blog uh, involving the nephron and um, that can lead to inflammation and uh, acute kidney injury and loss of protein in the urine. We can also see some elevated calcium in these situations, elevated uh, serum calcium level. Uh, chronic exposure to arsenic can lead to uh, chronic inflammation in the kidneys and lead to scar tissue formation and loss of kidney function, can lead to, uh, to high blood pressure also. Uh, we need to know that actually Recent studies found that even exposure to small amount of uh, arsenic can be associated with loss of kidney function um, over time. And we're talking about small amount uh, that are below the level that is accepted by the EPA. And these involve changes that are uh, related to epigenetic uh, changes. Arsenic can lead to extensive DNA damage and can inhibit DNA repair. And this is why it can cause cancer and can cause a lot of damage to kidney cells also. Uh, there are uh, situations where arsenic plays, as a, a, plays a synergistic effect where it can increase the sensitivity uh, of our body to um, uh, you know, carcinogens such as UV rays and uh, smoking. 
So the bottom line, most of arsenic exposure come from uh, drinking unfiltered water that is uh, contaminated with arsenic. And arsenic can cause uh, significant kidney damage, including cancers and um, kidney disease. And many nutritional deficiencies can enhance the toxicity of arsenic. So what can you do to decrease your exposure to arsenic and increase your body's ability to eliminate arsenic? One, you make sure you get an excellent water filtration system in your house. And we have a link in our um, blog about some uh, filtration system that we recommend. We don't get commissions from this. We're just recommending these for you. These are um, trusted uh, filtration system. Uh, number two, you want to make sure that your diet is um, laden with the antioxidant. Number three, you want to choose uh, organic produce. And uh, when it comes to rice and tea, you want to make sure that you get uh, those uh, produce from places that grow in soil that is not contaminated with arsenic. And also you want to make sure that uh, the product that you're buying uh, it screen for arsenic. So it's not enough to be organic. Number four, you make sure that you uh, have a diet that is rich in fiber that can help uh, catch arsenic in your digestive system and eliminate it before your body's exposed to it. Number five, there are some lifestyle uh, modifications that you can use, such as using uh, bath and Epsom salt. Uh, there's some other recommendation we have in our blog. And finally, make sure you have a regular bowel movement and a healthy gut. Uh, and if you don't, uh, make sure you uh, work with a healthcare professional that is familiar with uh, the digestive system and, and, and uh, detoxification processes. So uh, for more information, make sure you uh, follow us on www.inkidney.com. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and uh, like us. And if you enjoy this uh, video, make sure you share it with your friends.